Okay, we're going to find the maximum sum of a contiguous subarray. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little example going. We'll do negative one, six, five, two, negative ten, and three. Okay. We're going to want to keep track of our start and our kind of a midpoint. So we'll have S, we'll have M, we'll have a max, and we'll have a sub max. Okay. So first, I'm going to initialize our start to zero, our mid is zero, our max is going to be set at the first element of the array, as is submax. Um, and then we want to go ahead and loop through. Um, so s is going to stay zero and becomes one. And we're going to look at array at max, that's six, and we're going to add it to our sub max. So that gives us five. And then we look at it and we say, is five less than array at M, which it is. So that means that we need to actually make max array of M, and we're going to We're going to get a new start. Because we know that we can just disregard that negative one now. And then we're going to look at this and we're going to say is six greater than our current max, which it is. So we're going to have a new max of six. Okay, and then we loop through again. Start is now one. Mid becomes two and we look at array at m and that's five so we add five to six which is 11 and is 11 less than array at m it is not so we leave that there and then we look at our max is 11 greater than our current max of six yes it is so we have a new max Okay, and then we keep going, and mid is now, mid is now three, start is still one, and we go and we say, okay, at a rate M it's two, so 11 plus two is 13, is 13 greater than 11? Yes, it is. We have a new max, is 13 less than a rate M? It is not, so we keep that there and we keep going and now mid is here at negative 10 start is still at one okay and we take a rate m negative 10 and we add it to the 13 that gives us three and we look at it as three less than a rate m no it's not is three greater than our max. No, it's not. So max is still 13 and sub so max is three. Okay, now M is here at position five. Start is still at one. And we look at the three and we add it to three. That's six. Is six less than array at M? No. Is six greater than our max? No. All right, so max stays 13. We're at the end of the array. So we're gonna return 13. Okay, let's write some code for this. Okay, so let's do public. I'm gonna return an int. Find max. And it's gonna get an array. Okay. All right, I think first what we'll want to do is test the 
array and make sure that it's not null. So if array that length equals zero, then we're going to throw an exception that basically that's going to basically get us out of there. And if the array is one, we'll also just return that first element of the array because that's all it'll be is the maximum. Okay, and then we can go in and write some code. We need to get some variables like, like our start. We'll start at zero. We need our max. We'll start that at our first element of the array. And we need sub max, which will also start as the first element of the array. Um, and M, we can just use I in our for loop. So for int I equals zero, I is less than array.length. I plus plus. Okay. So first thing we did was we wanted to add array at mid to our submax. So we actually should start this at one. Now, otherwise we would end up adding negative one to negative one, which would be completely incorrect. So we're gonna say submax plus equals array at i. And then we wanna test it and we wanna say, okay, if, if the submax is less than array at i that's that condition oops that's that condition where um where we ran into with this first one here um then we want submax to be array at i and then we also know that we need to make the start equal to i. All right, and then if, if submax is greater than max, then we know we have a new maximum. So we would make max equal to submax. Okay, and then we're going to, I think that'll pretty much do it. And then it'll count around throughout the array. So let's end our for loop and we're gonna return max at the end of this. And here's the end of our function. All right, let's test it out. Okay. All right, and so I'm gonna leave the 13 there. That's our goal. 
Okay. So if the rate out length equals zero, it does not. If array length is one, it doesn't, so we don't go into that. So we go ahead and we initialize start to zero. Um, M is gonna be our I. And max is negative one and submax is negative one. Okay, so we go into our for loop and I actually is going to start at one. So submax plus equals array at i. So submax, which is negative one plus six is five. If submax is less than array at i is five less than six. Yes, it is. So submax becomes array at i, which is six. And start equals i. So start turns into one. And if submax is greater than max, which it is, then max equals submax. And then we loop through here. Now i is gonna be two. Two is less than our array length, which is, which is six, right there. So two is less than six. Uh, so we go in and submax plus equals array at i. So array at i is five. Six plus five is 11. Is 11 less than array at i? No, it's not. Is it greater than our max? Yes, it is. So we have a new max. I'm sorry, start was still one there. Um, and we loop through again, I plus plus, so I is now three, three is less than six, so we keep going. Sum X plus equals array at I, so sum X is 11 plus two is 13. Is 13 less than two? No, it's not is 13 greater than our current max of 11? Yes, it is, so we have a new maximum. And i plus plus, so i is now four. Four is less than six, so we keep going. Start is still at one. Okay, so submax plus equals array at i, so 13 plus negative 10 is three. Is three less than negative 10? No, it's not is three greater than 13? No, it's not. So our max stays 13. Loop around, i plus plus, so i is five. Five is less than six. Start is still at one. We look, it's five, sorry, three plus three is six. Is six less than three? No, it's not. Is six greater than 13? No, it's not. I plus plus, I becomes six. Six is not less than six. So we get out of our for loop and we return max. Our max is 13. Um, so it looks like this is gonna work. And we've got exceptions in there for the extreme cases, like if the array is null. Um, so this should do it.